Hello and welcome to the San Siro here in Milan. Home to both AC Milan and Internazionale and the venue for the 2016 Champions League final. I'm your commentator Peter Drury and providing his unique brand of expert analysis, here's Jim Beck. Thanks Peter, hello everybody. I'm ready to see what unfolds in this one now. Two starting lineups. Away. So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Um, Kazuke Honda, for me. As someone who's, who's very strong for a Japanese player and a fantastic set-piece taker, too. He'll be the one to watch uh, with his Ronaldo-esque free kicks. I'm thinking the same. He will be a central feature, no doubt. He's had a shot! He's got away with one there. Well, I think the early signs have been very good for them. They've already got that defence unsettled, and now they've got to back it up. Polly. Antonelli. Balls loose. Who's getting there? Antonelli. So what now? Balls loose, and he's after it. Christian Zapata. Here's the route one option. And he's made certain that won't get through. Goes long and forward. Now the pass. Chance! Not the worst cross in the world, but still room for improvement. Spoon forward. Look promising, but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. Yarmolenko. There's a bit of penetration to go with all this possession. Who's going to make this theirs? So it is still nil-nil. And a shot! Oh, and they really should have been made to pay. Harmlessly behind. Yeah, with him being under pressure from a couple of opponents, I thought he showed real determination to get some sort of attempted goal, and we have to give him credit at least for that. Montalivo. Abate. Goes long. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Morosio. Forwards. Either side really getting hold of the ball. Takes it out to the flank. Yarmolenko. Played in by Yarmolenko. It's in! Spectacular header. He really flung himself at that. He had a choice of trying to volley that or get his head to it. And I'm pleased to say he took the right option. That's a great goal.
Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. We know they're in control now, but they can't let their concentration drop, not one bit. Belanda. Uh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Kuczka. Uh, that looks a foul, yep, referee's given it. goal to give them a 1-0 lead and it's Yomalenko steered out wide Morosuk delivers he scores unbelievable and they are disappearing out of sight and how about that for a volley executed to perfection Look, you can end up looking a bit silly if you don't make the right connection on the volume, but he met that cross perfectly. This contest was still nicely poised, but now that it's gone to two, mindsets are affected a lot more. Winning belief one way and that losing feeling the other. It's one! Well, he would surely have scored there more times than not. Back up. Always looked inevitable. The defence dealt with that really well. Pops it upfield. Polly. Kuczka. Nabate. Hoofs it forward. Move that good inroads into enemy territory, but no joy. Yarmolenko plotting from out on the right hand side. Yarmolenko with the ball through. Decent ball. And it's Kuchka. Be a throw in. Belanda tries to locate someone up front. There were better options before the ball was lost. Easy to save from up here, I know. Honda looks to dink one in. Shoots! Big relief, it just needed better contact. Knocks it towards the front. Tremendous from Carlos Baca. Half time imminent. What a time to score. And as soon as they made that error in midfield, they didn't have time to react before the ball hit the net. Very much a lesson learned.
we've got ourselves a game here. Well, it was important they didn't get ahead of themselves and lose their discipline. This game plan could near well reward them with an equaliser. It's ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. The batty. Polly. Antonelli. He's had a shot! A decent effort as the first half draws to a close. Very little in it. The score at half time is two goals to one. Here we go again then. Passes it through. Keeps everyone guessing. Ball swung in. Oh. Has he found his man? Yomalenko. Kabate. Polly. Kabate. Kuchka. Good idea, just poorly executed. Chip through. He's through. run down the left-hand side. Abate drives forward with purpose. Lofted into the middle. Yarmolenko does have an assist to his name. Oh, the ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. Morozuk delivers, up for a header! And out to safety. Looks like a good ball through. Goes to the cross. That's not the cross he had in mind. Yarmolenko boots it upfield. And that's out of reach. Milan looked all at sea and terribly vulnerable, but they've got away with it. Final checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. The referee's awarded a free kick. Yarmolenko stands over the ball. He'll be looking to dig one in. The defence can get it clear. Cacciaridi. And sliding in, it's a long forward pass. He's off on a marauding run. It's a goal! Two up and threatening to pull clear. Well, none of us were exactly sure how that was going to end up then, but I'm delighted to see such a, a happy ending after such a splendid dribbling run. I mean, he really did fool that defence into wondering what he was going to do next.
Well, I think that two-goal cushion they've just manufactured is a fair reflection of what we've seen up to now. It also adds to the, the psychological divide between the two teams. It could make a big difference. Here it comes. Yamalenko! They are rampant! And surely that settles it! An absolute gem of a cross. It made the header simple. Well, as contact goes, that was tremendous, and it helped him to direct it exactly where he wanted into that net. I think when it comes to the aerial department, this fella is definitely no slouch. Montalivo, Tabate, Christian Zapata. Questions were asked, but he's given the answers. Yarmolenko tackling down that right flank. And Tonelli does well there, alert. Tries a through ball. Morozhuk into the box. Yarmolenko. They can just about hear the collective sigh there. They know they got away with one. Antonelli. 25 minutes played. Morozhuk. In the end, they found themselves penned in, nowhere to go. Polly. Pulls it over to the other flank. Tries to get it forward quickly. Antonelli. He's looking to get there first. Polly. Honda. And now they can launch a counter. Oh, it's opened up nicely for him. There's no flag. Played in by Yarmolenko. Not going to find its target. Forward it goes. Honda. Polly. the keeper Yarmolenko Belanda there's a long pass towards the front into the channel Lovely bit of skill. Kuchka cuts it out. It's a loose ball. There is the final whistle. A demolition, destruction, annihilation. They simply ran away with it.
How would you summarise what we've seen today then, Jim? Look, we saw some textbook football from White Areas that continued to produce expansive attacking play that was ultimately too hard to handle. They were simply too good in, in the White Areas. And just to add, usually if you're enjoying good success from the flanks, it will be shut down or disrupted in some way, but they deserve great credit for maintaining energy and, and a liveliness to their play. Just remains for me to thank Jim Beglin for joining us and to wish you a very good day.